T score in Excel. T score is a standard score. It has a normal distribution and the curve is bell shaped similar to the normal distribution curve. But in T score, the mean is equal to 50 and the standard deviation is equal to 10. T score is different from Z score. Z score is another standard score. Uh, it has a normal distribution curve, but with a mean equal to zero and standard deviation of one. To convert raw data into T score in Excel, we need first to transfer or transform or convert the data into a Z score and then from Z score convert that into a T score. Here in Excel sheet, I had inserted a hundred cases with a three data set, three different variables labeled as data one, two, and three. The scores within these variables are measured at different unit and, and scale. To compare the scores between these variables, we need to transform or convert the data into T score. But before doing that, we need to convert the data face into Z score. And the Z score is calculated based on the equation given here. Z is equal to X minus the mean of the sample divided by the standard deviation of the sample. So the Z score has a mean of zero and standard deviation of one. To calculate the T score, the T score has a mean of 50 and the standard deviation of 10. And the equation for T score calculation is equal to 50 plus the Z score multiplied by 10. So to start calculating the Z score for these scores here or data or variables, we need to calculate the mean and the standard deviation for each raw data for each of the variables. To do that, click on the cell here, insert equal sign, then type average, select the average, and then select the range of the data for um, variable one, click here, and then click on control shift and hold the control shift with the down arrow to select the data range click on enter a uh, mean has been calculated for the first variable and to auto calculate and auto fill uh, the mean for the rest of the variable just select hold drag and release and the Excel will auto calculate the mean for the rest of the variables. To calculate the standard deviation in this cell, insert equal sign, type standard ST, and then select the standard deviation for sample. Uh, uh, for uh, this, then select the range of the data. For data number one, select the first score, then Click on Control Shift and hold the Control and Shift with the down arrow to auto uh, select and auto highlight of the data range. A uh, standard deviation is calculated for the first variable. Again, to auto fill and auto calculate for the SD for the rest of the variables, select, drag, and release and a standard deviation is generated. I'm going to decrease the decimal point to one decimal figure here. So now we have calculated the mean and the standard deviation for each variable. The next step is to calculate the standard score. 
and the way to do that here for the first dat data set select the cell here insert equal signs and then type standardize so if you select the standardize the standardize mean calculating the z score for this variable once you've selected this again it require inserting the first score the mean and the standard deviation so we're going to select the first score for data one followed by comma then the mean for the data one and i'm going to make this mean as absolute reference by clicking on f4 and then after that add the comma and then select the standard deviation again make this standard deviation uh, reference by clicking on f4 close the bracket and hit enter a uh, z score is calculated for the first um, value in the data one to auto calculate and auto fill for the rest of the uh, scores in the variable one or data one select drag and release and a z score is calculated again as we can see here z score value can be positive or negative uh, positive mean that uh, uh, the score is higher than the mean and negative it means that the score is lower than the mean in the z score and the mean is equal to zero uh, we're going to calculate again the z score for the next variable insert the equal sign type standardized so select the standardized for z score and then select the score from data the first score from data 2 followed by comma then insert the mean for data number 2 and make that mean as a reference absolute reference followed by comma then uh, insert the standard deviation make it as a reference and then close the bracket hit the enter key to auto fill and auto calculate the value for the rest of the cells just hold drag and release now we're going to also calculate the z score for the third data insert equal sign type standardized insert the insert the first score from data 3 followed by the mean and make the mean as absolute reference followed by the standard deviation for data 3 make that as absolute reference close the bracket hit the enter key as its score is generated for the first value to auto fill and auto calculate select drag and release so far we have calculated the z score for all the three data so all the three data group or groups has been converted into z score that have a mean of zero and standard deviation of one to convert this z value into t score we will use this formula here so in this cell insert the equal sign and then type in 50 number 50 plus sign and then select the uh, z score for z score one uh, and then uh, multiply that by 10 and the t score for the first for the fir first uh, um, data uh, variable one is calculated to auto fill and auto calculate select drag and release and 
a t-score value is calculated for each data entry and as we can see here uh, the t-score have a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. To calculate the t-score for the second variable insert the equal sign 50 plus the z-score for data 2 multiplied by 10 and hit enter and then select drag and release and the excel will auto fill and auto calculate the t-score for data number 2 and likewise for data 3 to calculate the t-score insert equal sign type 50 plus 10 multiplied by the z-score for the first data point click on enter a t-score is generated select drag and release to auto fill and auto calculate the value for the t-score so now all these variables has been converted to t-score and the standard deviation is equal to 10 and the mean is equal to 50 for that for the distribution of the data so this is the way to convert data or raw data into t-score by doing an intermediate step of converting the data first into z-score then to t-score so these t score will permit comparison between scores within variables.